Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. And today we are going to repaint such a big doll head that is actually a twin sister of another doll head that I have repainted already some weeks ago. I've got three of these dolls. The first one had dark hair, this one is blonde and there is still one with ginger hair wig. But the hair color is approximately the only difference between the three dolls. So the plan is to repaint all of them in different styles to make them look different. Maybe like sisters, but not like twin sisters anymore. And as you remember, the previous doll of this kind has become a beautiful garden princess with green hair. You can see it on the picture now somewhere here. And this doll I'm going to repaint following your requests in the comments to get some maybe different result. But before I start creating something new, I need to get rid of her old face and hair. So first I'll cut her hair off as short as I can because these dolls have terrible bald spots everywhere. For her face I use pure acetone and for her dress I use acetone free nail polish remover because her body is plastic and acetone will just melt. Spray the doll with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and I let every layer dry for 40 minutes. And then I take my pencils and I sketch her eyes. You asked me many times to try another eye shape or maybe to make a doll that looks to the side, for example. So let's do it! I'm going to draw kind of half closed eyes looking to the right. And then the nostrils, of course. This step is unmissable in all my repaints. The eyebrows of these cheaper dolls are quite often difficult to remove. This fabric paint has kind of dyed the plastic, so I have to follow mainly the original eyebrow shape. But later, when I will add eyebrow hairs with pencils, I will adjust the shape a little bit, making it more realistic. And then I start contouring her face. I want to keep the original very light skin color and to not bronze it too much. So I'm going to work mainly with pinkish pastels and the brown color I will use just for the eyelids and under her nose.
a touch of blush, of course. Then I take my pencils and I start drawing her eyes. And here the most popular request was to make a doll with brown eyes. So let's do it! Then I'm working on the waterline, combining pink, red and brown pencils, and then with a light brown pencil I start adding hairs to the eyebrows. Repeat it all for the second eye. The most requested lips in the comments were the glamorous red lips. I love this look as well and I use red lipstick quite often myself, so I will do it with pleasure and first I'm just blocking her lips with a red pencil and then I draw the white smile. Now let's work some extra on the eyelids. Then I add grey shadows to the white of her eyes and I also start working on the irises.
Then I'm sketching her teeth. some more on her eyes, adding all the time more details and color accents, and then I start drawing the highlights around her eyes. shadows and creases to her lips. want to add some last accents with a dark brown pencil. Then with a the black pencil I draw the eyeliner wings and the bottom eyelashes.
Now still some extra highlights and her face is almost done. suddenly realized I have a problem. I have just one roll of dark hair and I need at least two of them for such a doll head. And I was really planning her look with dark hair. But I think it's solvable, because I was also planning from the beginning to make some kind of hat for her, and this will for sure solve the case. And I'm not planning to sell this doll in the future, so it doesn't matter if she has some hidden imperfections. So let's make a wig using all the dark hair that I have, and then let's make a, some kind of French retro hat for her. So this is the empty spot without hair, and now I'm going to measure her head to calculate the radius of it and to make a head fit in this doll. And in these moments I feel really happy, I was a good student at school, and I still remember things that seemed completely useless back in the days. I'm attaching the false lashes and adding a glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And in the end, I'm still making such an imitation of a retro dress for her. And here is the end result of my repaint. Here is she next to her before version, and here is she next to her former twin sister from the previous repaint. What do you think? I really love how old-fashioned and French she looks, and also royal in some way. So thank you guys for your tips and recommendations. The comments are always open for your thoughts, ideas and opinions, so don't doubt to write anything there. Of course, please put your likes if you enjoy this makeover and subscribe my channel and hit the bell under this video, then you will not miss my new doll repaints every week Friday. And the next week repaint is going to be very cool by the way, because I'm going to take the repainted doll with me on holidays to organize a photo shoot on the beach for her. And you can see the details of this trip in my Instagram as well. So stay with me and I will see you back very soon. Bye!